Welcome to Euston Square. I'm Sue, one of the CSA examiners and one of the senior marshal team. I'm here to talk you through some important matters, as well as some rules and regulations, to help your day run as smoothly as possible. One of the senior marshal team will come in later to meet you all and to answer any further questions you may have. The first thing is to check that you've handed in all your electronic equipment. You'd be amazed how often trainees forget to hand in their work phones or SATS monitors. Please take a moment now to double check and if you think of something, please let one of the admin team know who will store it safely for you. Hello, I'm Anwar and I'm one of the Marshall team. If you have any questions or queries once you arrive on the floor, I'm here to help you. Your room number is on your lanyard and your GMC number will be on the door panel. Take out all the equipment you need there is a list on the website of what you need to bring and what we provide. Please double check you are bringing all the equipment you need as the college cannot provide any replacements for your equipment if you forget. A reminder that you're not allowed any papers, books, etc. on your desk apart from what is there already and your BNFs. All papers must be stored securely in the lockers in your rooms or outside the rooms if your bags are too big iPads. Hopefully you've had a look at our video which explains how the iPads are used, but we'll have a quick recap just in case. Your iPad will be on a stand and plugged in. Best not to unplug it and don't change the view to landscape as you might miss some information. It's really important to remember your iPad is set up for you, so you simply start with the first case irrespective of what room or floor you're on. Start at the top and work down. You can start reading the case notes once you've got your desk sorted and your personal items locked away. You simply tap on the name to view the case notes. You can look at any case notes at any time. There may be a scroll down prompt. Mark cases as complete makes the bar go green. But if you do it by accident, you can undo this. If you have a problem once the exam started, you can call the floor marshal using this button. There are some very rare occasions when a role player doesn't match the paperwork. For example, you might be expecting a, a 60 year old man and a much younger man enters your room. Go with the paperwork. Sometimes we have to make a late substitution if a role player is sick or stuck due to snow or gales. There may be a telephone case in your exam. When the buzzer goes for the start of that particular case, pick up the phone and dial 1. This will connect you to the role player. The examiner will be sitting in the same room as the role player and listens in via a headset. If you finish the case before the 10 minutes and want to call the role player back, just pick up the phone again and dial 1 as you did before. There may be a home visit case. You'll be escorted to and from the home visit room by the floor marshal. Just manage the case as you would a normal home visit. Hi, I'm Gail and I'm one of the CSA examiners. Our job is to mark you in the three domains, data gathering, clinical management and interpersonal skills. By the time we stand outside your door, we will have spent over an hour calibrating the case to ensure that you get the agreed marks, no matter which of the circuits you are on. We are here to observe what you say and do, and we will do our utmost not to get in your way or interfere with your consultation. All the CSA examiners and marshalling team are UK GPs and undergo a rigorous selection and training process with ongoing quality assurance and training to ensure standards. Our lay colleagues are very much involved in this ongoing quality assurance. We work with highly trained and experienced role players who have been advised on how to present and play the case. Both examiner and role player examine the same case all day, 26 times. At the start of each case, a buzzer will sound. The role player and examiner will knock on your door and immediately enter. If there is another person with us, don't worry. They are quality assuring the role players or us. There are 13 cases in total, seven before tea or coffee and six after. Some cases require a clinical examination. Bear in mind that both your choice of examination and your proficiency in performing this will be marked. Explain to the patient you want to examine them. They may ask you what you want to examine. Explain what you're going to do and then proceed to the examination. 
Clinical examination may require you to undress the patient or use the examination couch. But remember, we want a focused GP style examination and only stop if asked to do so by the examiner. The examination findings may be verbalised or may be given to you on a laminated card. Bear in mind, the examination forms only part of the data gathering domain, so manage your time appropriately. Manage the cases as you would in your surgery and assume you have the normal primary healthcare team available to you. If you want to issue a prescription, you can either verbalise what you want to give. For example, I'm going to give you a course of amoxicillin 500 milligrams. You need to take one of these three times a day for a week. Please make sure you take the whole course. Or you can write it out and give it to the role player. Fit notes are to be verbalised. Bear in mind that any prescription or fit note you issue will be marked, so make sure it is safe and appropriate. If you finish the case before the 10 minutes is up, the role player and examiner will get up and leave the room. You can call them back in up to the end of the 10 minutes if you so choose. Marks aren't allocated until the 10 minutes is up. At the break, please stay in your rooms until one of us comes to get you. We need to ensure the floor is clear before you all come out. And at the end of the exam, again, please stay in your rooms. The floor manager or floor marshal will come to you with your personal items and the key for your locker. We'll then take your lanyard off you, ready for the next candidate. Collect all your personal items and you're free to go. Please arrange to meet friends outside the college building as we need to get the floors cleared and prepared for the next set of candidates. And a reminder, you may not discuss the cases with anyone and this includes your trainer or educational supervisor. In a high stakes exam such as this, we need to ensure the cases are kept confidential to ensure patient safety. Thank you for your understanding. So all that's left to say is good luck, keep calm and do your best. We really want you to show your best. <laughs>